This morning we read a little bit about our story. We, we started our story about Michelle's MVP. Do you remember what an MVP was? Colton, do you remember? Yeah, like sports over there. It is something we hear in sports. What did it mean, MVP? It stood for most valuable what? Like a basketball, like a basketball player. A, ba a player, the most valuable player, the person on the team that does the best work, that's the most valuable player of the team. And remember that Michelle and her brother played on the same hockey team and Michelle did something special for the beginning of every game. What did she do that she brought for her teammates? Do you remember, Zakaya? She made Play-Doh. In the shape of what? What shape did she make her Play-Doh? Does anybody remember? I'm gonna give you a hint. Do you remember what this was? What, did, what do we call that? A maple leaf. A maple leaf. And at the, the last part we read was the coach had told them something very special was gonna be happening. Does anybody remember what they were gonna get to do? Belinda. They were, they were gonna have to go to a fair because they were gonna have to earn some money. Why did they need to earn some money, Kelsey? Because um, they're gonna have to see the coach. They were gonna, their coach knew somebody who was gonna get them where, Terrell? Player. One of the big hockey players on the Toronto Maple Leafs. So they were gonna have to come up with an idea of something that would help them raise some money. So the next day when they got to practice, Michelle and Tim walked into the locker room where the team was meeting before practice. We can raise enough money. How do you think we could do it? Let's see who can, how they can come up with a way. Money, Michelle thought, how can we raise some money? A bake sale would work, Mike said. Baseball team does that every year, said Jason. Do you know what a bake sale is? What's a bake sale, Addison? Mm -hmm. They bake things and then they have people buy them like cookies or cakes. But we need to do something really special, said Jason. We need to make enough, make everyone at the fair want to come to our booth. Do you guys have an idea of what they could do? Okay, keep your ideas in your head. Let's see if your idea is the same as theirs. Put your hand down. Michelle saw that he was staring at the container that she was holding. See this container? Can I hold up your maple leaf, Tim asked. Sure, said Michelle. Michelle's right, said Tim. We should let people make the dough. If we write down the directions, everyone can do it. What do you think, team, said Coach. Do you think that's a good idea? Give me a thumbs up if you think that's a good idea for their team. The whole thing sounds like a great project. It reminds me of what I do at work, said Uncle Adam. Sometimes my, in my job, I use steps and directions that are a lot like a recipe. We just have a different name for it, and we call that a process. Has anybody here ever followed a recipe? What have you made, Colton, that you followed a recipe? A pizza. A pizza. Addison, what have you made to follow a recipe? Mm -hmm. Cookies. What happens if you don't follow the recipe the right way? Tiana, does it turn out? It turns yucky. No. It turns yucky. It turns, it can. And guess what, and it doesn't turn out how it, you want it to. It doesn't turn out how you want it to. So that's why when they do this, they're gonna have to create the process so that it can work the right way. I design lots of different processes for my job. Do you know I am a chemical engineer? What's that, asked Michelle. Is it like being a scientist, asked Tim. Do you wear white lab coats and glasses? So they got home and they had to figure out if they could make the Play-Doh recipe work. So let's find out what's gonna happen next. They sat, Uncle Adam and Michelle sat down in the kitchen. Maybe I should tell you about one of the ways I figure out how to design things at work. You might like to use it too. It's called the engineer design, engineering design process. What do you think that might be? Sophia? Um, you have to cook something? Maybe you might have to cook something. What did he tell you a process was? Do you remember what Uncle Adam said a process was, Darren? A recipe. Kind of like a recipe. A set of steps that you have to follow to make something work. 
right? Engineering design process is a set of steps that helps me solve all kinds of problems. Okay, friends, listen for a second. We're going to stop right here because Michelle's in a spot where her uncle needs to help her. What does Michelle need to do now? What, do, what does Michelle need to figure out? Kelsey? How to make the sauce. How to make what? The Play-Doh. How to make the Play-Doh. Does Michelle know how to make the Play-Doh already? Yes. Yes. Yes, she does know how to make the Play-Doh. So they need to make sure that they can make this Play-Doh recipe work so that a lot of people can make the Play-Doh because Michelle wanted them to make the Play-Doh and so that they could make their own shapes of Play-Doh. She has to figure out how she can make this process work so that lots of people can make the Play-Doh. We need to imagine different ways to explain the Play-Doh process to your team. Do you think we should show the team these directions, he asked, pointing to the paper. Well, Michelle thought, do you think the team's going to need directions? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Sevens. They so they know what they're doing. Of course they will. Let's see, said Uncle Adam. We have the steps for measuring the ingredients and mixing the dough and for cutting out the shape, said Michelle, as she handed it to him. We're all done. I'm going to put two words up here that we know already. We've also talked about a technology. Do you remember what a technology is? Javel, remember last week when we did our activity? What was a technology? Uh, staplers. Staplers were technology. Remember, technologies help us to solve a problem. In the story, Michelle and her uncle are going to come up with a process. Do you remember what the what process was? The process of how to make the dough. One of the words that Uncle Adam used to describe his job was a chemical engineer. Because he uses chemistry and math to come up with processes that work at his job. And then they use this big word, the engineering design process. And we're going to learn more about that <coughs> later. So a chemical engineer like Uncle Adam is a person that uses what they know about chemistry and math to solve and create new things. So they're going to use what Uncle Adam knows about chemistry to help them create the process or the directions that they're going to have to follow for everybody to make Play-Doh. Like she made um, the leaf. Like she made the leaf, yeah. And it's going to take more time for them to make sure that when all the other boys and girls follow the process, that they have it right. They need to do some testing. So what did they use to make their Play-Doh? Addison? Liquid and solid. Liquids and solid. What was the liquid they used? They used milk to make the Play-Doh? Kelsey, what do you think? Water. They used water to make the Play-Doh. What were the solids? Addison said they used solids as well. Um, what did they mix together? Sugar. Oh, not sugar. Uh, flour. Flour and salt were the solids they used, and the water was the liquid to make their dough. Michelle smiled. Not only had she done something good for the whole team, but now she had made a new friend in the process. What did Michelle get to help her team do? Sophia? Um, get to watch the hockey players. Yeah. What was the pro... When Tim tried Michelle's process, what problem did he run into, Zakiah? About the words. What about the words, J Javel? What was wrong with just having the words? Oh, because she got a plate in her hand. He got what in her hand? She got what in her hand? A Play-Doh. She had Play-Doh, but did the Play-Doh work when he just followed, when she just followed the words? It could, but what was Michelle's problem? She couldn't always... What, Kelsey? Read the words. She couldn't always read the words. So they used the picture so that they could help everybody remember what the process is. So here's what I want you to think about. Michelle had to follow this process and her teammates and everybody who came to her stand to get some Play-Doh. They all had to follow a process. 
Do you follow processes at all during the day? Yes. What about if you wanted to wash your hands? What do you need to do when you wash your hands? What do I need to do? What's the first thing you do when you go wash your hands? So now, what do you do first when you wash your hands? Well, you wash your hands when your hands are dirty. What do we have to do first? JD? Turn the water. <gasps> okay, the first thing you do is you have to turn on the water. So here's my faucet. I have to turn on the water, right? What do you have to do next, Belinda? Get some soap. <gasps> the next thing you have to do is get some soap. So the next thing you need to do is get soap. Okay, what do you do next? Addison? Okay, so you, you've turned on the water, you've got the soap. Do we need to do anything with the soap? You're supposed to scrub them together. Okay, do you think that we need to write that in our process? Yes. yes. Scrub hands together. And then the fourth thing we have to do is get a paper towel? Yes. Oh, no. Then you have to wash your hands and then you have to get a paper towel. Oh, so you need to turn the water on, you need to get the soap, you scrub your hands, then you need to put your hands under the water to wash off the what? Soap. The soap. Oh, so four needs to be wash off your soap. Yeah. So you need to turn, when you wash your hands, you need to go in the bathroom and you turn on the water, you get some soap, you scrub your hands together, you wash off the soap and you turn off the, the water, and then you have to get your paper to your paper towel to dry off your hands. Now, what happens if I did it a different way? What happens if I went in the bathroom and I got my soap first, and then I got my paper towel, and then I turned on the water? Is that washing your hands? No. no. So you have to make sure when you're when you're coming up with a process that you make sure that the steps make sense. Because if it if when you go in to wash your hands, you get your paper towel first, and then you get the soap, and then you wash it off, and then you scrub your hands after the soap is all gone. Have you cleaned your hands? No. No, you gotta make sure you follow the process in order. Right? We make our We could make a process. We could do that. Um, we could make a different one. We're actually going to make a process that we're going to put together later on how we can make some, some Play-Doh. All right, boys and girls, I think you did a good job. Um, my name is Lori Vanis. I teach kindergarten at Pine Jog Elementary in West Palm Beach, Florida. The students enjoy um, EIE because they get a lot of hands-on. Um, they get to actually experience and do on their own instead of just watching.